what do you think would be harder? One hour in the world's quietest room or one hour in the world's loudest room? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to drive across the country using only Tesla autopilot? Good morning, my friend. It is day four. Is Ryan Trahan a Christian? If you don't know who this is, his name is Ryan and he is a YouTuber from Texas. And why should you care? Well, he has been doing something really amazing and cool recently with his newest series. And while I could try to summarize it, I think he does a pretty good job of explaining it himself. Trying to cross America starting from just one penny. Due to his rise in popularity, good personality, and willingness to give generously, people are wondering, is this man a Christian? We will be answering that right after this. That's right, Ryan is trying to take a penny to Mr. Beast, who is across the country from where he is starting, only using the money he can make from a penny to get the other penny to him all within a month while recording and editing it daily to raise money for Feeding America, an organization that helps to end world hunger. I'll make sure to include the link down in the description below if you would like to give to it. I really encourage you to. And stick around to the very end of the video because we are gonna be doing something really special for it that I would love for you to be a part of. Now, I've been following Ryan's YouTube career since he used to look like Dash from The Incredibles and really started to pay close attention to all of his uploads around two years ago when he did his first couple of petty challenges. Anyways, those videos did really, really well because he had a clear challenge set before him, a fun personality, a charitable goal to help other people through the challenge that he was doing, and great editing skills to help tell an inspiring story that tied all of these things together. It kind of became his brand so much so that he even ended up getting a penny tattoo on his body. So when this challenge started 14 days, Days ago as of the recording of this video I could already tell that this was going to be a banger of a series but as I continued to check in daily and watch I became more and more invested in Ryan and his journey not only that I did the thing that most Christians do at some point when they become invested in somebody they wonder if they are a Christian now from hearing and seeing his mannerisms it made me wonder if this could all really be true but then again people who aren't necessarily following Jesus and just happen to be from places like the South like Ryan is could sometimes have have these habits of responding with things like hey, God bless you. I thought I'm pretty sure that this guy is but I'm not a hundred percent positive so I'll pray for him I mean he has a pretty big influence on this platform and this was just a few days ago then the other day while I was listening to the newest penny video challenge thanks to YouTube autoplay I ended up on Haley who's Ryan's wife's YouTube channel and she's doing a whole separate series about living alone for the next month while her husband is doing this whole get Mr. Beast a penny challenge thing. And at first it was just kind of on in the background while I was doing some other stuff, but it grabbed my attention when she said she wanted to spend some of her solitude reading more. And one of the books that she was holding, I thought it looked a lot like a Bible. And then as that thought was crossing my mind, she goes into talking about how she really wants to spend more time in her devotional book and just with God in general. And then even later on in the video goes in more depth, what God is teaching her, what he's putting on her heart and what she just needed to share with her audience. Now I'm not sure if anyone has experienced this before I I mean I'm sure some of you have but learning that they or at least his wife seems like a solid real Christian values her walk with God so much so that she's willing to talk about it with her audience just brought me so much joy to see so again didn't want to assume anything about Ryan because in all of his videos I've watched on his own channel I haven't seen him directly share his faith now I get that Ryan's videos are more challenge based and mostly revolve around that and the objective that they're trying to accomplish and his personality and his wife's channel is more of a traditional vlog style video. I didn't want to compare just one to the other. You know, they have different purposes and exist for different reasons. And I didn't want to assume that just because she seems like a real follower of Jesus doesn't necessarily mean her spouse is or could still just be figuring out his own walk with the Lord. So then that got me interested even more to learn more about this. And so I wanted to check out their socials and maybe I'll see something more personal, something beyond Ryan's just objectives and challenges and see a little bit more of who he is. Maybe a Sunday morning post or something along the lines. And again, right on Haley's Instagram bio is the phrase made new in Christ. That's awesome. You love to see it. While over on Ryan's Instagram, I was able to see this cross and a few posts in this sweet moment where he had bought some land for his dad and was able to love on him by building his dream house for him. All the while talking about how his dad had made some amazing progress overcoming some things. And he ended it all with the phrase, God is good. So what does this all mean then? While again, none of it is him directly coming out and saying Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light in his videos. By seeing who and what he is surrounding himself with, I would bet to say that he is in the right position to experience and see God at work 
and is seeing God at work in his personal life with people like his dad. He still is giving God glory at the end of the post by saying God is good. And while his wife seems more unashamed in sharing her faith on her channel directly, it doesn't mean that his faith isn't there or that he isn't glorifying God with the content that he is creating. Ryan and Haley don't have to be pastors who only create videos directly addressing Bible questions or controversial topics, but can glorify God and still show the truth of the Bible, like why it's important to be generous, kind, and care for those in need. So what does this all mean for other Christians? What can we learn from from these videos. Well, while I'm not here to judge on if Ryan is or isn't a Christian, it seems like the fruit is there and it seems to be a safe bet to at least say that he has an understanding of what the gospel is and tries to create content that has these hints of biblical truth in them. And at the very least could be helping to influence people to know Jesus by helping them to discover his wife's channel, which like I said, is more personal based and less challenge based like his channel. I think this is a model of online evangelism that could work really well for anybody. Ryan just found something that he loved, something that people were willing to talk with him about and watch. And it was something he was so passionate about that he wanted to share with the online world. For you and for me, this could look like the sports that you play, the video games or music that you're into, the fandoms that you enjoy making content that excites you and using it as an opportunity to build real relationships and connections with an audience. Every single person on the earth has the potential to have great influence. We all have passions and talents. They just might not look the exact same. We have a choice to use these things to glorify and honor God. The only things you need to earn a listening ear from a stranger is time and trust, and then they will hear the truth. You need to spend time with someone in order for them to gain trust in you. And once they have that trust in you, then they are more willing to to listen to the truth from you because they know you care and trust your voice. This is why things like YouTube are a great way to build that. Even if you can't physically be there with the person, you think Ryan knows each and every one of his subscribers? Yet they feel this personal connection to him and his challenges. I feel a personal connection to him even though I never have met him. Why? Because over the course of two years of watching his content, that's time. This consistency of uploading regularly has built trust with his audience to want to listen to the message. Whether that be detoxing from technology, seeing a value in a penny, or seeing how impactful our generosity can be. Speaking of which, if you made it this far into the video and liked this video, I would love if you would consider partnering with us and donating to this great cause. If you can't because funds are tight right now, I get that. You can still partner with us by liking or subscribing because at the end of the month, before Ryan's challenge is over, we will be donating 25 cents for each like and each subscription we get from this video. So every four of each is essentially 10 meals to people in need. And when we hit 1000 subscribers, we will be doing our first YouTube 24 hour charity stream, raising funds for St. Jude and Feed My Starving Children, two great organizations that help kids in need. So help us help others. YouTube thinks you might also like some of these videos right over here. So check them out if you wanna prove them right or wrong. But until next time guys, know that you are valued and loved. And I'll see you soon.